You got repentance and then you have reparations. You have repentance and then you have reparations. You have repentance and then you have reparations. So watch this. Uh, he says, listen, in verse 19, but I know that the king of Egypt will not let you go unless a mighty hand compels him. So I will stretch out my hand and strike the Egyptians with all the wonders that I will perform among them. After that, he will let you go. That's repentance. And I will make the Egyptians favorably disposed toward this people so that when you leave, you will not go empty handed. That's called reparations. See, 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 if someone hit you with a lot of force and they injured you and they said, I'm sorry, that's called repentance. But when they say, I'm going to cover your medical bills, that's called reparations. Because you didn't injure yourself. Oh my goodness. You got repentance and then you have reparations. Repentance is saying I'm sorry. But reparations says this is what I owe you. I was on a conference call earlier today and on that conference call... Um, I was listening to a brother from Chattanooga and what he was sharing with the group is that there's so many black owned businesses that have been applying for, for loans and applying for PPP and applying for e economic injury and, and disaster relief. But all these black contractors and all these black businesses, these banks will not allow them to get the income so that they can cover their families while they're going through this pandemic. But yet, when you look at the banks who are predominantly white institutions, they make sure sure that the individuals and businesses which are typically predominantly white businesses are making sure that those businesses are getting the income that they need to take care of their families but they're not making sure the black owned businesses are getting the income that they need to take care of their families they're both supplying the same documentation they're both supplying the same type of credentials but yet when you look at the return the return ain't the same so you can say, I'm sorry, but that's just repentance. But until you get it right with the money, then we ain't got no reparations. I was looking at the statistics. Pastor Gunny has been pushing real hard to make sure that our people are getting the vaccine at the same rate that other folks are getting the vaccine. I look on the, look, the news, Brother LaShawn, it says 55% of the white population in Duval County, based on the amount of uh, uh, vaccines that have been made accessible, 55% of the people vaccinated are white. But based, that's 55%. But only 13% of the African American community have had access to the vaccine. That means that you can say, I'm sorry, but until you repair the issue, then we ain't got no reparations. And then I look at educators. There was a poll on CNN based on the statistics uh, for, for, for CNN across the nation. 55% of the nation pertaining to whites have already been vaccinated based on the portion of the vaccinations that have been distributed. What does that mean? Blacks are still getting the short end of the stick. So go into education. And then they broke down the statistics based on white educators and black educators. Based on the percent of the population, there were more white educators that have already been vaccinated based on the same teachers in the same schools, in the same communities, educating the same kids. You can say, I'm sorry, that's repentance. But until we get it right, then we ain't got no operation. 